What's up, y'all? It's B. Come back at y'all. Another video, man. We got Charleston White, Exposed Black Family Homes, man. With no further ado, we're going to get straight into it, and I'm bringing it to you, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Yo, you too. It's your boy, Kevo. Back in another video. Hey, salute to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I what? got one. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Danza. Just wanted to make with Zeus Network. up at 2 Even if they're a little better. I'm saying. In my mind, that, but that, but that's why I don't get into this type of shit. Cause I'm gonna take it over, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna yeah, make yeah. it by race. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're about, you're about to make this like Tupac and Biggie, nah, and people I'm, are gonna start I, killing nah, each other. I'm making it. I don't it. want. I don't, what? He said people are gonna start killing each other. I'm making this. Like, I'm making. I want to die for what they done done. They done, yeah, they yeah. done, done this to Rick Ross and knock the out. Man, somebody mama. Man, they supposed to jump on Drake mama behind this. Oh yeah, the Rick Ross and Drake. That was funny, bro. Drake, Rick Ross really thought that was gonna fly, bro. Yeah, Drake I, mama's supposed to be getting jumped on behind I'm, it. I'm okay with Drake. I like Drake. I'm no, a Drake. I'm a, man, nigga supposed to whoop anything. anything. I don't want anybody to hurt I do. anybody. They Rick Ross, I don't want anybody Rick, to Rick hurt Ross anybody. got hurt, so why can't nobody get hurt? They done hurt the yeah. The nigga done got hurt, so why can't nobody else be hurt? I feel you. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm right. I'm out. I, I don't want to don't see. He don't want to talk about none. Come on, man. Why you being scary? You know Charleston White. You got Charleston White on here. You better speak the truth. You know how he did. Yeah, man, I I'm, on, I'm, on this, I'm praying in the name of Jesus and I lied that it's an ignorant Haitian. Right. <laughs> Dude is wild. I would Rick Ross that get somebody from Drake Camp. <laughs> Never. Another Tupac and Biggie. Dying anyway. So, so not only are you sitting here, right? That's why I say it all. No, nah, no, nah, I'm just playing, y'all. Yeah. Let me, I'm just playing, Karen. <laughs> Let me stop that shit. I got a show that's funded by good white Mormon folks, and I'm just playing, y'all. Internalizing the shit that his mother. I wouldn't be surprised if this boy is a big punk, cause he's confused. Here, his mother is displaying the attributes of a masculine male, mm. and she's being cleared. Champion for this to bash her daddy. So when he look at his mother and his father, he's watching other black people cheer to divide him. So secretly when he's on the Charleston White really do be breaking people down, like intellectually. Toilet. When he's in the bed by himself, when he's he gotta process this. Half of his chromosomes is his mother. The other half is his father. So when he look in the mirror, because he's a big boy, and he hear his mother saying, big back mother but when he get out the shower, he got to wash his back and drop. <laughs> and he has to go over his big back. <laughs> his back off. You don't think he look at his back and say, I wonder, is my back big like my daddy, like my mama say? Yeah, it's real though. That's real. Your parents' words are very strong, bro, on us growing up. So you don't think when he hear the things that this is saying about his daddy, he don't internalize that? Because even through a divorce, it's been proven when children go to counseling, they internalize the divorce. They blame themselves. Yeah, that's real. You see the movies all the time, man. When children get molested, they blame themselves. When they get abused, they blame themselves. You don't think this kid is internalizing the shit that his mother, the venomous and poisonous things and words that his mother strategically and specifically uses on a day-to-day -day basis? Not only that. Especially, well, I, I, I can relate to this because it's like, bro, I grew up with just my mom, bro. Single household. So, you know, I mean, her emotions can just, it was a lot sometimes, bro, growing up, like, because a woman always handles everything emotionally, you feel me? So to not see a man handle things logically, it kind of threw me for a loop until I got around men in my life. And I was like, hey, okay, there's another way to handle things. There's another way that I can go about things. You feel me? The same auntie. We found Sprizzy through, as, through a we Google as, search pretty much. I was looking for a way to that, market man. our YouTube. That made it possible for him to go to another college outside of Bethune because his mother cannot provide for him to go to college. When she filed her income tax returns and this young brother applies for his FAFSA application, he's not using... What y'all think about college, chat? YouTube, what y'all think about it? I, I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's a scam to me. To me, it, it, it's really a scam, bro. My my homie, bro, my homie Chess, he said he went to college. He, the degree ain't helping with nothing, bro. He was doing Grubhub. 
You feel me? Like, I, my mom, she went to college. She don't use her degree no more. Like, I feel like it's a scam, bro. It, the only thing it helps with, it helps on your resume, I would say. It helps you, like, maybe get promoted faster. But they also got to just like you for who you are anyways. And first impressions are everything. His father's tax information. So they're not paying for college out of pocket. So they ain't like this bitch putting him through college. She going to college out five dollar. The taxpayer's dollar. Mm. He ain't got no scholarship. So come on, man. So we as black people, let a white police officer shoot a no good rotten like George Floyd. And we are tear up the country for a like George Floyd. But here it is, a black man who took every good care of his child because he made his last child support payment when most people don't even pay child support. Facts. But like, you know, that's a, a lot of reason why like men don't even want to have a child, bro, it's just because of child support. But can you blame it when it's like four or $500? You know how much bills is, bro? Insurance, everything right now, car payments. Oh, bro, I want to go look for a new car. I wanted like a Q60 or like a Charger. Bro, do you know that shit, the, the insurance on it was like $3,000? Mind you, I'm 22, I'm a young driver, but still, bro, like, what is wrong with, with, like, the country right now, bro? All they want is our money, bro. It's just a, a constant loop. Behind on child support. Not only that, this kid will inherit over a billion dollar empire. And we cheer for this Nobody's gonna defend this black man, but let a white police officer kill a no good rotten who don't want to go to jail. Mm. That's why I didn't give a fuck about George Floyd. Bro, Charleston might be wildin', bro. I didn't roll something with this dude. That's why I don't give a fuck when the police kill him. Because here it is, we'll cheer for this shit. Now, George Floyd should have took his bitch ass to jail for the white boy made him get down on the floor. The white man gave him a chance to go to jail in the car before he swallowed the fentanyl drugs, remember? Before he started crying like a He I didn't, he didn't that drugs, still man. been alive. He just would have went to jail like most. Man, take me to jail, bitch, that white boy. Go on, take me to jail. Say, baby, come get me. I didn't know he swallowed drugs, y'all. Bitch, I didn't even want to go to jail. But we go tear up the country. We go talk, ride for men. That black, that's why I say black lives matter ain't shit. It's a bunch. I heard black lives matter was funded by a, a white man actually. Just get bull diggers running some shit that's playing on the racism, and racism don't even exist no more in this country. It's so right, Charleston, you tripping, man? You doing a lot now. Racism and classism. This socialism and classism, racism been gone, dumbass. For the for the fans, for the new fans, right? When yeah, you watch I got mad. When you, when, when you watch this man bitch. bounce, when you see him bouncing up and down, it's a problem. I'm just I'm just letting you know. I found I found that out in the comment section. I said I see. Yeah, I got mad. Yeah. Cause they, homie, this is a black man. Not only that. He's not a criminal black man because he once was a correction officer that they try to shame for. What's oh, wrong? we talking about Rick Ross. Okay, but wrong with being a correction officer. So you can go into prison and give your a first shake. What's wrong with being a black PO so you can go get your a first shake, my Hey man, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You still watching the video, man. Keep going. Monkey boy. <laughs> yes, sir. That's me. What's wrong with being a black police officer so you can go That's patrol me, and not worry That's about me. the white boys? Why not? Hey, don't but we go to, shame uh, him for doing that. Follow them. Come on, my We supposed follow. to be honoring a black father like him, dealing with a Shit. black like him. And not one time have he came out and said nothing bad about this rag lad. I remember my, I remember my mother telling me, she said, son, if you love them kids, you'll treat that girl a little better. That's true, though. If you do, if you love them kids, you're going you're gonna to treat you gonna treat them better. You ain't gonna uh, do them wrong. That's for sure. You feel me? Come on, chat. How y'all feel about it? I feel like I feel like yeah, that's right. My mama say, son, if you love them kids, you treat that girl a little better. I got a question. That's real though. The way the that's real. For you, for the folks at home who don't know about campus yet, tell them. Hmm. She come on, money. Facts. I'm, I, you, I always say it in every podcast we've ever done. You get me in like that moment of silence where I'm more thinking about the moment than I am thinking that we're in a room doing podcasts. Facts. 
Hey, that was I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, bro, he be speaking some facts. I don't know we supposed to treat her a little better, nigga. Yeah. yeah, we all know we ain't treating her a little better if we love the kids. Because a, a, as a man, sometimes uh, we we ain't willing to kiss her ass so we can really involve ourselves with the kids. Yeah. Some there's some hoes you got to kiss her ass to be able to go deal with the kids. So. Why not kiss no, my her? Homie, my homie going through that. Like, he got one girl where it's like, she's super chill and like, she's a good co-parent and like, she's everything, but he just doesn't want to be with her. And the girl that he want to be with, she over here asking for child for it. She over here bad at communicating. She's over here keeping the child from him. So, bro, it, 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 he's speaking facts, bro. Fast so you can deal with the kids, so you can figure out another way. Yeah. So here it is, homie. You got one hand, she bashing the shit out of this day to day. So... I bash her every day. Guess what they saying? Oh, man, you can't get over. She must really hurt you. Y'all don't think she must really be hurt? Mm. Mm. Oh, it she ignoring you. Well, why can't she ignore him? See, at first, they thought the bitch would go get me. Homie, I'm a brutal motherfucker with my words Back. because I read a lot of books. My vocabulary and my articulation and my vernacular supersedes the average black person. Just off those simple words that he just told him, I'm finna go and get my game up. I'm finna read more books. Straight up. That just made me want to just go hard. I can argue in the court a lot. Let me break this down real quick. She started hot. And then for the people that don't know you are going to look at it, right? That's because this is what really happened. She started hot for the people that don't know you. Yeah. For the people that know you say she's going in. It's only a matter of time before he settles in and it's gonna be a wrap. See, I, I never will watch her videos. So I, I remember watching Mayweather do an interview one time and he said he never watches his opponent's videos. So if I'm beefing with people, I never would, I never go watch what they say about me. Because if, then he's gonna internalize it and subconscious is everything. If I go watch what they say about, the, about me, I give them access to make me feel some kind of way. Fact. Facts, bro, this dude is speaking facts. If I hear something to make me feel some, so what I'm gonna go hear that for? So I won't listen. Take that in life, period, bro. Take that in life. What he just said, take that in life, period. You giving them access, bro. Like, like I gotta hear a comment on Twitch right now. Monkey boy, did it? All right, yeah, that's me. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. <laughs> bro, you gotta not care about nothing but yourself, bro. I I've been through too much in my life to care about anything but myself. And what I think is right and what I'm doing. That's how that's how you gotta move in this life, bro. So rather than me going to listen to what you say about me, I'm gonna go learn something about you. What you I don't wanna hear what you're saying about me. I wanna know things about you. Uh so I go find out things. Uh I I I do smart, bro. I got a friend. You smart. Who's a former law enforcement partner. Bro, yeah. yeah. Bro, Charles and White definitely do work with the feds, bro. He said that like almost every interview. Uh, if I give him your name and your phone number, I can give him either or, and Nick and damn near get a detailed background check on you. Uh, and yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, check. and I can get phone numbers to motherfuckers. So I talk to people from from not only Tia Kemp's family. Uh, that's why I did a post and said, "Yo, mama married such and such. Your mother was on crack." This, this man rescued you, raised you, your step. So, yeah, I, I went and got some shit on that. Not only that, uh, Rick Ross family members. Uh, everybody have enemies and people who don't like you, yeah. just like me. So it's a motherfucker that'll call and say, hey, such and such. Yeah, so. If you don't got haters, bro, you're not doing something right. Gotta have haters, bro. So uh, equal I just research. So I don't want to hear what a motherfucker saying about me. I want to go find out about you because I know once I find out about you, I'll make your family cry. Damn. Yeah, I'll make your family say, leave him alone. Yeah, yeah, he's man, mean. I'll make he's your mean. family say, man, leave him alone. We'll kill him. Leave me. I'll make him up. Yeah. He ready to kill me. I told you how I felt. I felt like I was at the kid at the, I was a kid at the table. IT and uncle are fighting at the table. IT's going in. Uncle's looking at her like, chill out. I don't want to do this in front of everybody. And she's like, oh, yeah, you ain't going to do shit, you little mother. Yeah. Right? And he's like, okay. And then she gets home and she gets her ass beat. I, I, I come from an era. Uh, I come from an era of men uh, where your uh, uncle a whoop a jump on auntie. 
in front of the kids, in front of her mama. If her brother and her daddy got in, he'll be willing to kill them. Damn. He'll drag her out the house, kick her ass out in the street. Yeah, I, I, I've seen that growing up as a kid. And she, she pulled out your kids, which yeah. might, I, might I add, got some good looking kids, yeah, successful yeah. kids. They're yeah, doing yeah. things like, it's, oh, my daughter graduated I, I don't know 15. what the I don't know what the intention is. Yeah, I, I heard his daughter, bro, is like she's like super super smart. Like she graduated like super super like fast. Like she has all the grades and shit. but it didn't really work out. Oh, uh, well, you know the black women mad cuz I got the baby by the mixed kids. Uh black see, she, always hate that though. He pulled up my my baby mother's uh, arrest record. Uh my my baby mother was a dancer. So she she was a dancer. Uh she tried to say she was on cocaine, but just the just the well, First generation stripper. Every stripper got to be on cocaine, bro. Is, it, is that what's that? What it is? Station when pills is being introduced to this generation of young people. Mm. Uh, so so my baby mama got caught with what one or maybe two ecstasy pills one time leaving the club. Damn. Uh, all these hoes on pills. He said Just all that these generation of pill pills. popping. She on pills. She on cocaine. Uh, that's how she was able to go identify. Mm. So that's how I got the kids. That's how I was able to get custody of my children, uh, because I, I I I used my baby mother's lifestyle against her. Yeah, you know, I was the baby daddy. Go call. Yeah, he said I used my baby mama's lifestyle against her. Child support on the bitch to get the kids, cause I know she gonna go be dropping the kids off over there with the don't tell your daddy shit. So now, nigga, I used the system against my baby mother. Bro, uh, what are you saying about that? While she was dancing to get her brother and her daddy. Such your mother was on crack. This, this man rescued you, raised you, your step. So yeah, I, I went and got some shit on that. Not only that, uh, Rick Ross family members. Uh, everybody have enemies and people who don't like you, yeah. just like me. So it's a motherfucker that'll call and say, hey, such and such. Yeah. So so uh, I just research. So I don't want to hear what a motherfucker saying about me. I want to go find out about you because I know once I find out about you, I will make your family cry. Yeah, I'll make your family. <laughs> this nigga get real personal, bro. Family say leave him alone. Yeah, yeah, he's man, mean. Man, I'll mean. I make your family say, man, leave him alone. We'll kill him. Leave me. I'll make him up. Yeah. He ready to kill me. I told you how I felt. I felt like I was at the kid at the. I was the kid at the table. Auntie like and uncle are kids. Cause I know she go go be dropping the kids out over there with the don't tell your daddy shit. So now, nigga, I use the system against my baby mother. Uh, crazy. While she was dancing to most dudes. Is they use the opposite. The system is using them. But he used the system to his advantage. Get custody of the kids. It's a game up. And then went and got food stamps. I went and got the government assistance. So, yeah, you go strip and you go dance and do what you do. Yeah, and you get back right. Me and the kids go be living right. Facts. Yeah, I ain't going to keep them out your life. So, so, so that's what I did, homie. When most won't take control of their children's yeah. life. Now, every school year, I, I got my name on her. I, Emergency I, that's a real man right there, man. For real. Shout now out, most shout out can't. Charles so now, nah, nigga, the the principals, or uh, the school teachers, and I was joining a PTA. So she the type of black mother that will put that barrier in place where a nigga couldn't do that. Yeah. Mm. And even if they're doing wrong, mothers usually get the right away. Uh. Women always get the right away, bro. It'd be hard to get the right away. Not if you a smart daddy. Facts. If you a smart daddy. The, because ultimately the court system is really going to go for what appears to be in the best interest of the child. So when you drag, when we, when, 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 so if I call CPS on them, it might make me mad. When I know in Texas, CPS tripping over weed. Mm. I'm going to call CPS on the bit. Make the Life straighten up. Cause at least for six months they go have the whole going to classes. Bro, this nigga wilded. <laughs> and in the process, I'm getting the kids over. It right there, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, put in the conversation. You want me to finish this video? I'll finish it. I'm hungry. I'm gonna go grab something to eat, man. I've been twitching for about an hour. And uh got a couple videos done. But uh yeah, man. We on a grind, bro. I ain't stopping for nobody, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Be back at y'all in the next video, man. Let's be.